my on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make a caprese salad. Now, here's all you need. You need fresh mozzarella, some beautiful tomatoes, fresh basil, dried oregano, extra virgin olive oil, salt, and pepper. Now, this is a really simple recipe, but it's so classic in any Italian household. Anything caprese basically means it has tomatoes, basil, and mozzarella in it. You can make caprese salad, you can make caprese pasta, caprese pizza, I've even made caprese omelet. So, but here's how, here's how it goes. Okay, first thing you want to do is cut your tomatoes. I'm just going to do three for now. And you don't want them to be too thin. So I'm just going to do them about that thick. Like that's perfect for me. About a half inch. Beautiful. Let's just cut the tomatoes and then we'll cut the mozzarella. Last tomato. Now, I'm not using these ones for my salad just because, I don't know, they don't really look that good. But don't throw them away. Cut around them. Okay, like that. And you can put this in salads, you can put them in pasta, you can put it in the, uh, in the omelet I was telling you about. There's so many things you can do. Don't waste anything. If you can save it, do it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the mozzarella in the same amount of slices I cut the tomatoes. So what I want right now is 10 slices of mozzarella. So, there we go. Got six out of one. We'll get six out of this one. And I'll cut that uh, other tomato. I had a couple pieces extra of mozzarella, so I'm just I, I cut the other tomato as well. So here's how I do this. Like that. I just think it looks so beautiful. And you want to make sure that you do this in a really pretty platter so that all the colors can show. I mean, look at the beautiful red of the tomatoes and the white of the mozzarella and when you add the basil it's just going to be gorgeous almost done and there are two more pieces so I'm just going to put them just like that and with my basil I'm going to tuck in a piece of basil behind every tomato between the tomato and the mozzarella just like that. Making sure that you see all three colors. Last piece of basil. There you go. Now we're going to put the dried oregano. Not much. Just a tad. Have you seen, have you ever seen a more beautiful salad? Come on, and an easier one. Sprinkle with some salt. Remember, salt brings out the flavor in everything, so please don't leave it out. I'm going to crack a fresh black pepper and a drizzle or two of the extra virgin olive oil. Look at that. Tell me that is not perfection and it could not be easier. I hope you make this at home. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. To get this recipe and other recipes, visit my website at www.learnthekitchen.com. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.